Hey, look what I got here. This something makes you still breathing. Come on, boy. Come on, Bessie. Yeah. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. And you're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. What are you waiting for? Those horses won't hang around for long. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the But I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Oh, 
Carson! Whoa there! Hold him there now! Hold him flat for oh, me! Let's go! Oh, this Easy ain't good! Now. Let's see him, boy! Keep that Come up, on! Look at the guy! on your own horse. Woo. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Yeah. Come on, rope one of them. Now don't go and hurt yourself. Come on, break him in. I gotta hold on. You got this. Nearly there. Hold me down! You're mine now! Go, boy! Steady! Here we go! Relax now! Nearly there! You're a regular Bronco Buster, boy! Nice work! I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ramp. Come on! I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. A life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight, and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Weston Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Marston, these are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Yeah. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Miss Marston.
Let's go! Whoa! Slow up! Whoa there! Today, Mr. Marson, we got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Okay, lady? My husband's missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. <laughs> Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. got much money, and I'm with a family wagon. As I said, I'll do what I can. Thank <laughs> you. 
Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Please, I'll do anything. Fool's leg, mister. This maniac tried to eat me. We got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's gotta eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name's Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look. Scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. Oh, mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Horses 
over here! Master! How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care none! These people have been laid to rest! You don't know nothing! I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow! I tell them it's alright to be scared and alone! I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten! I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? You're special! Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Fly! Fly! Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark! What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke, all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now, I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Yeah! All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave him away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god-awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Stay away from them animals!
job getting rid of them clowns. Yeah, keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! You ain't the damn law! Let's go! Trust in that crazy bastard. Just name your price. Don't annoy me. Come on. You son of a bitch, let me go. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never come to a live one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah. Ah. Best we deal with this now, mister. with all that flim flam. Body was Go on then, you can clear it out the desk. Damn treasure hunters be dangerous. This letter says I'm a free man. You better go straight Anytime down. Anytime you want to get on with it, it's fine with me. Last night a drunken rustler told me. My killers! My killers will not!